What is up, Poke Peeps and Masters? It is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back for another episode of the Pokemon Day, Day One Moon Nuzlocke. Okay. Um, okay. So we did get a couple new Pokemon to add to our squad. Um, so we added Snap and Terror. Snap, we gave a couple of TMs to. Actually, he's all full of TMs except for his original Play Rough. So, Play Rough, Wild Charge, Stone Edge, and Brick Break. And we have Terror, who knows? Roar, Stone Edge, Ancient Power, and Crunch. So, they're going to be two really powerful ones I'm excited to use in this LP. So, we have a trial to take on. Can we fly there? We can't fly there, but we can fly close. Okay, so we have a trial to take on today. This is this is my least favorite trial I've ever taken on. Oops. So yeah, this is my least favorite trial. I've beaten it twice because I played the game. This is the third time I've played through the game, but not gonna lie. That Mudsdale, that horse, that horse, that horse, the horse with no name. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, looks like we have a party here. We don't have a ground type. We could have stayed with a uh, what's it called it had a ground type, but we don't have a ground type. So we're gonna we're gonna lead with Terror here, actually. You're, you're from Team Skull, what do you want from us? Here they come. I've heard you numbskull, I heard you numbskulls at Aether. You know there's really a way to save our boy Guzma? We can't make you talk, but even if we can't cut you, we'll cut you at the bone. So we're gonna have to take on these numbskulls. Okay. I'm ready for a nice fight. Okay, so we're gonna take on team. We we're challenged by Team Skull Grunt. Looks like we're gonna have to take them all on separately. I wish we had a flying type move on our terror. So I just stay in and we'd one shot this thing. Um, but because it is higher level than us and we don't have the the flying move, I think we're gonna we're gonna switch out to. Let's go into Frank. Let's go into Frank. There's a solar beam. Starts, absor starts absorbing sunlight. We're gonna send off a nice, strong sludge wave here. We replace sludge bomb on muck with sludge wave. And we took it out. I also fed berries to all my guys during the thing. During the break. Um, just to make sure they were all happy with me and all that max happiness stuff would uh, start happening because we're gonna need that luck as we go on through this LP. Okay, okay, so you cut me to a bone. Ouch! Doesn't matter. We'll come right after. We'll come after you, all of us, at once, little home slice. We'll give our two hundred percent to save our boy Guzma. So we get to fight all of these guys at once, which is super nice. Sends out a Saladin. We're gonna send Terra right out here. Terra's pretty freaking excited to be here. Um, we're gonna go for a nice Ancient Power. See if we can get a stat boost. I'm not ready for it to go for Stone Edge yet. There's a Flamethrower. We take those here. Um, don't get burnt, Terra. Thank you. Let's go for another Ancient Power. Uh, 
Okay, so we beat that Selen no problem. Next is a Haunter. Uh, we'll stay in because we got Crunch. Let's get um Terror caught up to the rest of the squad. So as you can see, he's a bit underleveled. Let's go for a big Crunch here. We don't have that tough Jaws yet. Almost taking it out. There's a Shadow Ball. Come on. Livid Terror. Thank you. Go for another Crunch here. And that will take that out. Not gonna lie, I was low-key, low-key worried about a Sucker Punch, but... Next we're gonna sound Eradicate. We are gonna switch out to the Eradicate. We're gonna go into... Let's go into Snap. Let's just show off all of our new Pokémon at once. This weekend was absolutely crazy for... Poke Rust versus crazy battles, crazy things. Um, we're still rocking. We're gonna still be rocking out with the Metagross and stuff like that. I'm pretty excited to play with that. Don't forget to choose. Don't forget tomorrow you get to choose what the next Pokemon I build will be. And then we're gonna obviously mess around with the team. I like I like doing this. I like getting you guys involved in stuff like that. So we're gonna go straight for the play rough here. He's gonna go for the double edge. It's not gonna do much to us. We're snap. That did significantly more than I had hoped. There's the play rough. And there goes the Raticate. Next is Marini. Um, we're gonna stand against Marini because we do have a little surprise up our sleeve. We have Z Wild Charge. <laughs> It has poison jab and it outsped. Holy god, it outsped. It outsped. Oh my god, we're gonna lose snap already. We're gonna lose snap. We're gonna don't lose snap. Don't get poisoned. There's a Z, Crystal. If we would have went for regular wild charge, we would have taken ourselves out. But luckily, luckily we hung on there. We almost lost snap within the first five minutes of it being in our hand. There is snap's Gigavolt Havoc. There we go. So picking up that KO. I threw Gigavolt Havoc on it because um, we need we we've been lacking some electric ness uh, on our team. So I figured, hey, we need it. Might as well throw it on Snap since we have the Wild Charge. And honestly, the Recoil is probably going to hurt us more than it's going to help us. I think the Wild Charge will pick up the KOs most of the time. Not the Wild Charge. The um, Gigavolt Havoc will pick up the KOs most of the time. So I'm pretty excited about it. There is the Ice Fang onto the Golbat. Will we one-shot? We do not one-shot. Ugh. Seaweed, so we knew you could do it. Yeah, we knew you could do it. You didn't do anything. Come on, Avalos the Tormentor. Show us your power. Combine with the other two gods. There we go. Level 43. First time you leveled up since you evolved. Which was almost a week ago, crazy enough. I'm not giving up. Even if you beat me, I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. That's enough! No no one wants to see a sore loser. Hmm, you girly. Lily, right? You are really ready to finally do this. To be honest, I've treated you so badly. Even if I was just doing the work that the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done it all. Even now, as I apologize now, I, I know I can't possibly. It's too late for you to give forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who's ever seen him for as strong as he is. The president? My mother, she's selfish. She lavishes her love only for those who she deems worthy, not caring about anything else. But I will save her. I still need to, need to tell her. And I, want to, uh, I think I want to save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. 
you've gone in a different direction, but I can tell. You have the strength, same, same strength and conviction. Bring Guzmo back if you can. I, I know you have no reason to help, but there's no one, no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. And you, Pokeros, look like you were something special after all. You didn't stand up to Team Skull. You even, or you did, didn't just stand up to Team Skull. You even took on the darkness inside the Aether. Looks like you're the real deal, the realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take care of our little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take this poise, Poisonium Z. Oh yeah, this is the first. You were the. You got your first stone directly from Tabu Koko, didn't you, Pokeros? You better take care of it. That's one special Z ring you got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon they have with them. If you ever forget that, I'll bring down the wrath of the Tapus upon you. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. I suppose Team Skull isn't even really that bad. And here, let me thank your team for you. So she's gonna heal us. And I saw there was a little glitter up there. Let's go to the altar. That's playing Cannon lies ahead of us. I guess where we came over here and there wasn't one here earlier, which is very interesting. So we're about to go in here. Let us put... Who do we want to put first? We want to put Whirly or Dancing Queen first. Hmm. <laughs> um... Let's put Whirly first. Let's see actually what we're getting ourselves into before we make any rash decisions with Dancing Queen. I'd rather not lose Dancing Queen right away. And I feel like she does have Pokemon that Dancing Queen will be really good against. So this is Vast Pony Canyon. This is actually where, like, the equivalence of the Thunderstone is, or the uh, Thunder Rock or whatever, the thing that allows you to evolve Vika Volt. And, like, this whole area is, um, electric-ish. So this is where you can evolve Vika Volt. You can evolve... I think you can evolve... Wait, there's never been another uh, Pokemon needs Electric Stone. This is where you evolve Vega Bolt, which is the important thing. Did everything go well? Yes, it did! Did everything go well? The old Pokeras had to help me out and I was a little bit of trouble as usual. Nothing wrong with that. People survived on, on their own. Same with Pokemon 2. That's what my grandfather would say. I, I didn't even finish saying what he said. <laughs> yeah. I would like to test your battle skills, Pokeros. You make Lily smile too. It's just so... Ah, it is my grand trial. I may be young, but that does not mean... I will be outdone by any kind of other kahunas. I am certainly the bond with my Muzdo, and the rest of my team are the closest you'll find anywhere in Alola. Do you want to try and take me on? I'm gonna take you on. Okay. Having a Z ring like we do, Pokeros, means our battle with the Tapu is beside us. This will be my first grand tr grand trial as Hapu or Kahuna Hapu. This will be the battle. To, I'll give everything I got. Okay, that was really bad voice acting. I am so sorry. Challenged by Island Kahuna Hapu. Sounds out Dark Trio. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't start with Lilligant because Lilligant, uh, no, Lilligant might not have been the best there. But we're going to lead with Whirly. Whirly is excited to get this battle in. Um, we're going to go. Sh we go for the Skull, or do we go for the Burp Break? We're gonna go for the skull because there's a burn chance. Um, this is level 47. I just realized that that is freaking scary. Because I thought my whirly was ahead. One shot in the Dug Trio. Super hype. Um, yeah, I thought my whirly was ahead of the game. Next is Mudsdale. We're gonna go into... 
We can go ahead and Dancing Queen and go for a Stun Spore, or we can stay in with Whirly. Let's switch on to Dancing Queen. Um, do I want to go for the Stun Spore? Let's go straight for the Giga Drain. Let's see how much this, uh, we outspeed, we get the Giga Drain off. Does a nice amount, about half. The stamina boost does go up, but it's not going to affect us. That is, like, literally the most I've ever done to a Mudsdale in this LP. Let's go go straight for its Z-move. Tectonic Rage. Maybe we should have opened up with Bloom Doom. Oh, Dancing Queen! Come on, please. No! No! <gasps> Dancing Queen's to Oh my god, it held on for me! Should have saved it because she had like a grass water, or I'm sorry, ground water later on. So salty. It held on for me and then the sandstorm. Oh my goodness. Whirly's level 50. See, now I can't really touch that. that, that uh, I can't touch the Gastrodon. It's gonna send out Flygon. We are going to switch out to Obelisk. Flygon use Earth Power. Come on, live it, live it, live it. Oh, thank you, Obelisk. Ice Fang this thing into an oblivion! We're gonna switch Pokemon when it comes to Gastrodon. Can't hit it with water. Can't hit it with electric. Let's go into snap. Let's go into snap. I can't even believe. I guess we get to see the big bad Slim Jim come to the team. Um, we're gonna go for the play rough here. We outspeed. That does absolutely nothing. There's a muddy water. Oh my god. See, this is where the, this is gonna be the real battle here. That did so much! That did so much! Frank doesn't want to be here. I'm going to have to go into Whirly. Because this thing has Water Absorb. Okay, Whirly, take it like a champ. This is going to be a slugfest. I apologize so much. Go for Brick Break. Nice and stab. There's a mud bomb. Oh my god, that did so much. Okay. Um. I can't believe that. I. 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 Mm. And you have recover. 
Okay. This is where we need... We're gonna raise our critical hit ratio. I wish we had attack ups. Um... Well, at least we can hope for a crit, I guess. There's the crit, so that does a decent amount. Um, if this thing would stop critting, and there's the accuracy drop. Oh my god, okay. Um, I could go for body slam. Let's go for body slam, see if we can get a pair on this thing. That's another crit. Nope, nope, uh... We need to heal here. No accuracy drop that time. I absolutely can't believe. Like, if we would have saved Dancing Queen for this match right here, it would have been a one shot. One Bloom Doom. One Bloom Doom. There's a recover. One Bloom Doom. That would have been it. We're gonna keep going for body slams here, try to get the para. It's avoiding. There's another, oh, there's another accuracy drop in. That was a crit as well. Oh my god, we're at like three, oh my god, okay. We need to switch you out. Oh, I don't want to lose terror. I go into terror assuming he's going for a mud bomb. Outspeed him and go for a the, the Rock Z move. That's legitimately like the last thing he's doing because he's muddy watering and Terra is going down. There's the mud bomb. Good, good, good. So we lost the crit. We go back into Whirly here. See if we can get a little bit more damage on this guy without him recovering. So there's the muddy water. No accuracy drop, please. There's the accuracy drop. Gosh, dingus dang it. Like, legitimately, if I wouldn't have, like, scrubbed it up, um, this wouldn't have been taking this long. No accuracy drop. Oh, come on! Okay. Body slam it. We hit the body slam, come on, we need the para. There's the para, we have a chance. Um, let's go for a brick break. Oh, it has full heal, of course it has full heal. Let's go for another brick break. I told you guys I hated this trial. I ha absolutely hate this trial. How many PP does Recover have? It has 10 PP. Let's try and stall it out. There's the muddy water. We heal up now. She used at least three recovers. There's four. 
She hasn't used five yet. I'm not sure. It's either four or five now. We're gonna body slam again. That's five, if not six. There's the para again. Good, good, good. There's the muddy water. I don't know how many full heals she has. Okay, so she's not full healing, which is good. There's another recover, so that's six, if not seven. I think she might be out of mud bombs, which makes me sad. Well... What's her fourth move? Mud bomb... Recover... Water... Attack... Oh no, she only has three moves! What? Okay. Run another Brick Breaks here. Land another one. There's another Recover, so that's seven, maybe eight. We land another Brick Break, which is huge. We, av we avoid with Muddy Water, so Muddy Water misses. Good, good, good. There's another Brick Break. We land another one. Critical hit there. Paralyzed can't move. Please land, please crit. Please land, please crit. Come on. Oh, you're gonna recover. That's eight, maybe nine. This is our last brick break, unless I have a Lepa Berry. There, it's fully paralyzed, it can't move. Okay. We do have an Ether. There's nine, maybe ten. That could be the last recover there. Let's heal up here. Because to be honest, she might be struggling soon. Because Mud Bomb only has ten, I think. There's Muddy Water. Mud Bomb has ten PP. She hasn't used Mud Bomb in a while. Muddy Water is resisted, so... And it only has 10 PP as well. God, I can't believe I'm bringing this into a stall match. <laughs> There's a Brick Break. We land the Brick Break. Paralyzed, it can't move. There's another Muddy Water. Just don't drop our accuracy. More brick breaks. Just keep punching. Just keep punching away. No moves left. Struggle. There we go. And there goes the Gastrodon. Holy god. I had to stall that into a struggle. Thud, the sound of your strength rocking me to the core. Oh, you showed, sure showed me. That was enjoyable. Looks like I cannot beat you even when I'm not holding back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my absolute goodness. I appreciate the chance, Pokerus. You've really taught me a few things. Take this. It's the Z it's Ground Z Crystal. It's the Groundium Z is yours. So, we did lose a Pokemon there. We're gonna run in here, we're gonna capture a Pokemon before we end this episode. Oh my absolute gentle Jesus.
I will teach you the pose too. Here, keep your eyes on me. Hiya! Whew. Well, I must applaud you, Lily. You sure found a pr uh, prodigy, a prodigious trainer to be friends. I don't even have the energy to voice act anymore. Then you two go on. Go straight through here to the altar. The path to the shrine is through the canyon. You'll find trainers in this place, though they come here for training. It's a tough road. You'll have to pitch in too, Lily, but if the two of you end up in any real trouble, Mudsdale and I will ha hasten to you. Thank you. Thank you, Hapu. Okay, so we're actually going to save the last encounter to the be beginning of next episode. We're going to fly back to the Pokemon Center, stock up, switch out Dancing Queen for Slim Jim. I am so freaking salty that we lost, we lost Dancing Queen. I... Okay, so let's deposit um, Dancing Queen for Slim Jim. I'm sorry, you were obscene. You were a Dancing Queen. Okay, so we got our timid, timid Slim Jim here, and he's gonna join us for our, the rest of our adventure, hopefully. So we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna stock up on items, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to check out Pokerus versus the League tomorrow. It's gonna be a hyped episode. I can't wait. I'm um, rocking out with that amazing Metagross we have. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.